Hey everyone, Dr. Zio here again, and today we have some good news. Um, this past Sunday on August 28th at Paramorphicon, or technically before because it leaked, um, Hasbro, E1, and executive producer Simon Bennett had a special announcement, and that was Season 30 of Power Rangers, which is Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. And the very special part about this announcement is that all six Rangers, the core Ranger cast, from Power Rangers Dino Fury will be coming back for Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. So, whoo, that's good news. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I w if the cast was carrying over, I thought only a few of them would come. I didn't know, I didn't think that all six Rangers would carry over into the next season. In the announcement, Simon Bennett also said that the Rangers adventures in Cosmic Fury will take them into space and across the galaxy. So, whoo, we're going to space again. I am so, so, so excited. Um, they also showed us a brief snippet, a brief tease of the Power Rangers Cosmic Fury um, you know, theme song. And it sounds okay. It sounds like a remix of the Dino Fury theme song, which I hope that means that Burt Sellen, the current composer for Dino Fury Season 1 and 2, will return to compose the soundtrack for Cos Cosmic Fury because, as I've said over and over and over again, Burt Selling is doing the motherfucking thing this time around or th with this music and I hope that he's here for the 30th anniversary because I can't wait to hear what remixes and what new track he's able to compose for Cosmic Fury if he does return. But that's essentially really the only information we have so far of Cosmic Fury. Screen Rant also did an interview with Kai Moya and Jordan Fight, the blue and gold Dino Fury Rangers respectively, and we got a little bit of information from them. Uh, mostly that they haven't seen their suits. Uh, when they filmed the Dino Fury finale, they didn't know if they would be returning for the next season, which would, would they, which they would, uh, you know, later on find out that it's named Cosmic Fury. And last but not least, they also said that the Dino Fury storyline was left open, to, but they didn't go into you know how specifically it was left open. So maybe we'll have some plot threads that carry over into Cosmic Fury. I say maybe because later on, Simon Bennett responded to Linkara, who was, you know, wondering about how this is all going to work with his History of the Power Rangers series on YouTube. And Simon Bennett actually said that the stories and character arcs conclude at the end of Dino Fury because it was written and made as a standalone season. Cosmic Fury presents the characters with whole new challenges in a very different environment. So what that means and how that, you know, coincides with what Kai... And Jordan were talking about when it said that they left the Dino Fury storyline open, or the ending open, remains to be seen. Dino Fury's uh, last few episodes will be airing on Netflix here in the U.S. on September 29, 2022. It'll also be airing in, on English language channels throughout the month of September, so we'll have, the fi we'll have the finale before we actually get it here in the States. So look forward to that and my reviews um, for those episodes. I'm excited. You know, I've said this time and time again, like, I want a space season. Like, if there was, if season 30 is the finale, I want it to end in space, so I'm very, very happy about this. There's so many opportunities we can have for Cosmic Fury by going back into space. We can visit Aquatar, we can visit uh, KO-35, we can visit Sirius if they've done anything with that. We can, uh, you know, we can go to other established planets in the Power Rangers universe and just see what they're like and do more with them and expand upon their lore and whatnot and we can you know visit the space rangers talk to them for a little while we can go to miranoi and see the lost galaxy rangers if they're still um on miranoi we can do there's so many chances to expand the power rangers universe and the lore i can't wait to see what that looks like and what happens with cosmic fury because the current production team has been doing a fantastic job with the writing, uh, just in general, and the comedy, and the way that they've interspersed, you know, bits and pieces of lore throughout the Dino Fury season. I can't wait to see what they have in store for the 30th anniversary. Um, I'm also excited, again, to have Burt Sellen back, if he does indeed come back, because I trust that he's going to do some good things with that music. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, we don't know what the suit situation is going to look like. We don't know if it's going to be entirely original suits, whether it's going to be um, alterations to the Dino Fury suits, whether everyone's going to keep their uh, existing colors, or whether they're going to use the Q-Ranger suits or the Kira Major suits. 
So, again, we really don't know much about uh, about uh, sorry Cosmic Fury. So, hopefully Hasbro, you know, loosens their lips here in the next few weeks leading up to Hasbro PulseCon. Maybe they'll have some more announcements for us coming up then in September. If not, maybe New York Comic Con or you know just anything, anything would be good news. But I guess we should be seeing leaks here soon. So. Whether it's from official sources or from leaks, we'll have something to work with eventually here soon. But until next time, as always, I'm Dr. Zio. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Get your vaccine. Get your booster. Still mask up because you can still get COVID out there and it's not pretty. Uh, but yeah, until next time, as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.